briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2009, the Iowa Supreme Court heard the case of In Re the Marriage of Cooper, which centered on whether agreements between spouses concerning their intimate relationships are enforceable in court. The case involved Bernard and Virgistine Cooper, who were married in 1972 and experienced marital problems after Virgistine discovered Bernard's extramarital affair in 2000. The couple signed a post-nuptial reconciliation agreement in which Bernard promised to take responsibility if his actions led to separation or divorce and provide financially for his wife. However, when the couple filed for divorce, the court found the agreement unenforceable as it violated public policy. The lower court had upheld temporary support for Virgistine, but reversed the final property distribution. On appeal, the Supreme Court determined that such agreements create an unhealthy bargaining environment and intrude on the intimacies of the marital relationship. The court decided that contracts regulating spouses' conduct during marriage, including agreements with conditions related to sexual conduct within the marital relationship, are unenforceable as they violate public policy. As a result, the case was remanded for entry of an order equitably dividing the party's property without considering the void contract. The court upheld the temporary support for Virgistine, but reversed the final property distribution, citing public policy reasons for the unenforceability of the reconciliation agreement. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsc.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.